What's up, YouTube? So today, I want to put a remote control on this popular, reliable brand 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It doesn't currently have a remote control on it. It just has a switch. And what I want to do is I would like my charge controller, which has a relay output for switching off your load, I want to be able to attach a cable that basically is just really going to solder to the back terminals, two terminals of this switch. And then I can use this from my charge controller to switch on and off my uh, inverter load. So, let's open her up. Here we go. So, looks like we're going to want to move these wires out of the way and the switch is right back in there. Let's see if I can get the camera down a little bit here. Nothing metal really, but the back of the switch is right here. So there's just two terminals, and uh, this can just be switched with a. And we're going to leave these leads on the switch, and the switch will just remain in off position. And the um, charge controller, when the relay uh, closes to turn the load on, it'll just do the same thing as the switch. So the sw switch will still operate, um, but yeah. These are just a, a, a small signal wires here. There's no high voltage or anything like that on those on those leads. And uh, so I'm going to cut this um, heat shrink off the back there. And then I'm going to solder my two wires on there. Okay. So I've got the heat shrink slit and moved back. And there's the two switch terminals right there. They actually have a nice little hole in them that I can feed the wire through. And um, what do I do with it? Oh, there it is. So I'm going to feed this through one of the vent holes. goes right through one of those vent holes so this is a pretty minimally invasive mod because I'm not actually modifying the case or anything I would assume that if I needed to warranty this unit uh, I'm pretty sure I could just remove this and everything looks just nice and stock and um, again not doing anything that would uh, cause any harm to the unit be back once I figure out how to get my solder and iron to work all right so I got the solder and iron working uh, this thing is like super old and I've used it for a very long time and gone through many many tips and uh, you know the plug is kind of worn out and it's about time to replace it okay anyways let's uh let me put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to tend the end of these wires first. I always do that. Okay. 
Thank you. Made a chicken fried ribeye steak <laughs> for dinner. Just like that. <laughs> You heard the unit coming on because I was accidentally touching both sides of the switch, completing the circuit. Uh, it's not actually powered up. <laughs> it's uh, just it's still got voltage in the, in the capacitors and in the input capacitors, uh, which is also why you want to be really careful. Um, it would be a great idea to discharge those capacitors. However, um, I'm not sure if there's an easy way to do that. So, uh, maybe shorting the, uh, the, uh, DC input would, uh, would accomplish that. But, uh, yeah, there's still power in those capacitors and that could be quite dangerous. That is definitely a shock hazard. Solder that sucker down. There we go. All right, so just wrapped it up in some Captom tape. Cap Captom? What's it called? Capton tape. Uh, just for the hell of it. But it should be good. No problems. Again, there's no high voltage or anything. That's just a signal line. Um, <clears throat> let me put it back together. All right, we got the unit back together. There is the cable coming out, the remote switch cable, going into the EP Ever 60 amp charge controller. This is the load uh, control relay. And so let's see if it works. So this should turn the load on. Let's uh, do this. There we go. Heat gun came on. Load is off. Oh, uh, load is on. And then load is off. There you are. That's all you have to do. Now the charge controller can monitor the battery bank and turn the load off whenever the battery bank is too low. And I can set the parameters for it to turn the load back on when the batteries are up to a certain level. And uh, that's all there is to it.